Let's go. Huh. Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> it's your man, the Afro Rican Orlando Crespo. <laughs> Guess what? Uh, uh, giving you the rice and beans. Know what I mean? What up, slime? Hey, <laughs> what's happening, uh, y'all? <laughs> It's your boy Carla Pot Shine here with a little paint red ain't a little seasoning with some reason. Uh-huh. We got the original, original power stones, earth stones, all that good stuff. Yes, sir. Huh? In the building. Huh? It's been two weeks. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Vacation time, boy. It's in the contract. I ain't mad at you. We're going to revise that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's good? It's the God yeah. Flex, the rude intellect in the building. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? 1-8, not mm. too late. I asked y'all on time today. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. He was. That's a reason to celebrate. Let's go, yeah, let's go, he, let's go. He was on time. He said he tired of this revolving chair right here. He said his chair be revolving a lot. Yeah, well, I yeah. mean, either his contract yeah. or my contract got to be revamped. <laughs> right. I don't know. I've got to be revamped. Hey, you know I'm, I'm still making memories, bro. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, huh? It sounds good. Up. All right. Oh, goodness, man. How was, how was, how was your little vacation? Well, right. That's how you put that little one? I, I don't mean to do it like that. <laughs> yes, but I mean, it was quick, though. It, that's why I said little. It's Literally, it's a measurement hey. of time. And, and you that, know, that knows it wasn't, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, man. I had a blast out there in Las Vegas mm-hmm. celebrating my 14 year anniversary. Okay. Big I up, appreciate big y'all, up. man. <laughs> I appreciate you, y'all. This is 14 Christ years? Wow. Yeah, time fly, bro. Oh, you know what it is. What's, what's the secret? Keep living. Perseverance. You know what I mean? Keep them guessing. Too many cats quick to throw it in the towel nowadays when shit don't go their way. You True. know what I mean? True. First time they get I punched was, in the fight in the face. That's it, bro. It's over. It's over. You, you saying nothing about sex. I'm not gonna mention that. <laughs> but we are gonna mention love. Yeah. Yeah. Sex. It's all good. But you yeah, saying, man. You saying they're both the same, love and sex? Yeah, you know. I, I, know, I don't know. Hand. Help me. Go down Expound, the same, hey. the same man. Hand hand. When you enjoy yeah. somebody's company like I do. You'll be having anniversary. To so celebrate. if y'all not having, if y'all stop having sex tomorrow, you be good. Stay away from that. That's not mind your business. Gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> mind your business. She might be good. <laughs> you know, I'm King Dangalang. Oh, Going what on else with the show. Here? Yeah, what else we got <laughs> on that card? What's yeah, happening? Yeah. Good to see y'all, man. Yeah, oh man, you, welcome back. Good. Welcome mm-hmm. back. Oh man, it's been a lot okay. going on. Been a lot going on. Uh, we we took a week off actually because uh, Juneteenth and Father's Day more so Father's Day, mm-hmm. um, but they finally made Juneteenth a national holiday. Mm. How y'all feel about that? First of all, let me jump in there real quick. I'm gonna say this, and I remember Orlando posted before. Down here in the South, it was never a big thing. Mm-hmm. So for the longest, well, we've never celebrated. Bottom line. So for the longest, I, I knew the history of it, but I didn't know it was like a celebration type thing until I started meeting people more from the Midwest and, and Northeast and out on the West Coast that really celebrated, you know, um, regularly. Mm-hmm. So that's where I come from with it. So, well, you know, in well, Buffalo, Juneteenth was big. Like ever, my whole life, I don't. That was like. In the summertime, Buffalo has festival season, so every culture has their festival, like Polish, oh, okay. Italian, like I got you know you. what I'm saying. So everybody's festival. Puerto Ricans have a festival, uh-huh. and Juneteenth was always our festival. So there's parade floats. You know what I'm saying? They have the the whole cultural thing that's going on out there. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I didn't always know what it was about. It was just a celebration of us, mm-hmm. of our culture. But as I got older, I figured out what it was. Bro, whatever, yeah. whatever. But uh, it's it's back home. It's pretty big. That's mm. something that we look forward to, Juneteenth. I'm surprised, you know, being from Buffalo, <clears throat> how prevalent that that is to celebrate, yeah. as opposed to cats being in the South, you well, know, not abreast I, to you, you what know, Juneteenth. I kind of uh, meant. The, I kind of surprised as like the neighboring, if you want to use that word, even though it's a little farther over, would, y'all mm-hmm. wouldn't celebrate it because since it's, it's really about Texas. 
Right. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so since y'all are right there, I would think y'all would, you know, got wind of it. But I guess, I mean, you just don't, it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hate when a lot of shit end up on calendars. I'm I'm just that kind of guy. The only thing I really celebrate is, you know, somebody's birthday. Mm-hmm. So I really, and I mean, like, somebody I know. Let me be clear on that. <laughs> Let me right. be clear. And mm-hmm. I mean, no, like, I got to, I can call them and, what you say? Right. They talk back to you? Yeah. Huh? I need it. Huh? Uh, yeah. Right. Uh. I'm, I'm talking about them people, not uh, them other people y'all be. But anyway, but, it, you know. So, you know, when it comes to stuff like that, man, I just, the symbolism, as we've been talking about around us, is really going on because we, we need so much more. Mm. So, mm-hmm. Uncle Joe, as you like to call him. Uncle Joe. He wants man. to uh, make his marks in history because that's how I took it. And people can disagree. That's fine. Mm. So, he gave you niggas June teeth. Mm. Do you think it's a smoke screen for what really matters? Absolutely. Oh, you I mean, smoke screen. Come on, man. Joe, Joe. Every president want to go down for something. That's just how I look at it. Mm-hmm. it Joe going to go down as Juneteenth. <laughs> I ain't saying that's it. That's right. it. But he's going to be on his, on his under his uh, name. Yeah. That's under his, his watch. Administration. Mm-hmm. Right. right. You know, because, I mean, my, my thing is the whole celebration of it. Like, man, you had spoken. I really don't. I'm not a celebratory person as far as parties and things like that. But if that's what you choose to do, then I, I don't oppose it either. Mm-hmm. But me personally, I just, I mean, a day comes every year. I've been doing the same thing, you know, every year. Just, well, actually, me and you have been, been making fun of people for like the last yeah, yeah, four yeah. or five years. Mm-hmm. I don't want. Did, I have not been making fun of. Yes, people. we have. You know what I'm You've been <laughs> shaming people, and I've been trying to get people I mean, to come but, to but, June. But you know what? You, you know what? I, you know I've what, been and, going, and, and I I take that. You know why? Bruh. Because when I first came down here, and Juneteenth was looked at upon like another day, I had an issue with it. Mm-hmm. because Fourth of July came, and my friends, I was, right. you know, these people I hang with, right? They were just up and on, you know. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Red, white, blue. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, before then, Juneteenth, they just really wasn't. Oh, I right. mean, you know, instead right. of just trying to get familiar with what it was, they just re- disregarded it uh-huh. and got ready for the Fourth of July. And that's off a of tradition and just and, what and I was, and, and part I, I was, ignorance. I was, yeah. I was, I was just ignorance. But ignorance ain't always bad if you don't. No. Know. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what ignorance you know, is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, knowing. but I just looked at it as. Like wow, like, and I ain't acting like I came out the womb celebrating Juneteenth. I didn't. Like right. you know, shout out to um, Rashana Franklin when I was in college. You know what I'm saying? She put me on as far as sitting me down. You know, because I heard about it as a child. My you know my stepfather was all into that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But she actually sat me down and because I was in Texas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah. I got it firsthand like that. But right. I just at the point that I became, you know, of age of you know, 20s, 30s, I thought everybody knew. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When I found out it wasn't like that, I just was, I was shocked. But my friends, I keep saying that because I want them to deny it so I can just actually just let them have it wherever we are. Sure. They act like they didn't care. Mm. How do you feel about, part. how do you feel about people that just found out about it? I, you just found out, just like anything else. Right. Now you know. I'm happy that you know now. Right. Yeah. What you gonna do moving forward? I think that's mm-hmm. how, how are we gonna choose to celebrate this? Are we gonna let this turn into like a even though it's not a national holiday, a Cinco de Mayo? Yeah. Like what? what <laughs> like, what, like what are we doing? Like, you understand what I'm saying? Or is yeah, this something right. that we actually are gonna honor our Cause, ancestors? Because so. they was they was kind of off caught off guard this year, but you better believe next year. Target, Walmart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're gonna um, mm-hmm. the mattresses. All the furniture stores gonna have. Yeah, yeah, they gonna have oh, yeah. they gonna have a sale. Federal. So yeah. you know, federal holiday. Yeah. Let's let's have that inclusion. Mm. And if I we go, I mean, you know, I'm I'm I feel like yo Juneteenth, y'all only give black people a discount. <laughs> only, right. you know what I'm saying? Even though I, even though work? I know that's you know I'm just talking shit, but <laughs> you know you're talking about doing stuff specifically <laughs> yeah, yeah. for black people, right? And we ain't doing that. Pacific, but, um, Pacific. yeah, because it's wide and vast, <laughs> right? Like the ocean, Pacific, Pacific. But, Pacific. but you know, <laughs> on, on, on the real, I'm not I'm not shaming. Anybody that um, wasn't aware of it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I said, somebody had to sit me down 
and find out it's not taught in our history books. Right. So you didn't come up through a high school. Yeah, you got, you know, more, you know, more of it because it was celebrated where you from. We we had we got an African American fest mm. in Detroit, so it, it covered everything. But right. I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty sure it ain't no Juneteenth booth set up nowhere because I think our shit in like August. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um, I just hope more people that find out make sure they they neighbor. No, sure. You know what's funny, yeah. and, and and that's why I love the that I've in life met a lot of people from a lot of different places. Because to hear you all talk about what your cities your cities did for, you know, cultural diverse situations, we don't do that. We didn't do it here, right. and a lot of people come here and they're surprised because in Atlanta is mostly black based. Um, but you have to look outside of Atlanta and what the South has always Absolutely. stood for. So a lot of that stuff wasn't celebrated. All we had was MLK, basically. Right. Right. And then that kind of got washed away. And then, but in Atlanta, black professionals were very prominent. So when people come here, they'd be like, oh, y'all got black doctors? Oh, y'all got black dentists? Mm. You know, so the money and the stuff was there, but the educational aspect or the the cultural celebration of it has never been here. So to hear it come from other places where it's diverse, where you have a lot of people that say, okay, well, we can't leave this this group of people out. We can't leave this group of people. So they need to have their thing whenever they have their stuff. So um, hopefully it'll get bigger here. Hopefully. Not, that's not a hopeful thing. I, I mean, I, I, I agree, I, hopefully, I, I but think it, it is, definitely no. will. I, th- I think it's... Atlanta will support. They just need to know what it is. Right. Yeah. right. You know, I, I think agree. one of the things that really... See really bothered me about it was uh here like he said is having people who were atlanta homegrown who will go super hard for st patrick's day right oh man i got man, yo. <laughs> Patrick. Have no clue 25th when, when i said well yo come to and, and and like this is real i've told people here in atlanta yo come to, let's go to juneteenth let's go walk around for a little bit mm-hmm. you know what i mean let's just go. we ain't gotta stay all day let's go walk around they go somewhere they're gonna have a drink somewhere right right and let's just go chill. And a lot of people was like, "Oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea," but I ended up going by myself. But just the thing, this is the thing with people. They always say, "Oh man, you know, family, family get together." I mean, this is the biggest family you got. Right, yeah. right. This right. holiday is the biggest family you got mm-hmm. to celebrate. Yeah. But you, I felt like my, and I keep, I hate harping on my friends. It is what it is, though. They know I love them. I feel like they was a shame. Yeah. To celebrate it. I, re- I really do. Like, because it wasn't everywhere mm-hmm. in they in they cities, they states, whatever. Right. So it was like they was looking at me like, here he go. But that black shit. With that black shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, like, y'all really don't. Do you know what it is? Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like I said, now I'm at the stage where as long as people find it out, man, it just, I'm happy you find it out. Now, what you do with it from this point on, I, I expect you to, you know, to give it the, the same green, energy, the, the green yeah. beer and the the yeah. hat to for fifth of Mar- uh, May, all that shit. I want the same energy. We're gonna have bar Marley's all around the table. You know, I'm with <laughs> so I'm sure. and just to, you might just, be stars. So. I mean, I'm just <laughs> just to unpack that a little more too. Do we do understand that this is because we didn't we we even though our some of our ancestors or some of our our our, our OGs. They have been asking for this to be a federal holiday. I, right. I, I forget her last name, but the, I believe forty o- years. Opal, um, yeah, lady went forty years. Yeah, Opal. I want to say it was free, but I'm not sure yeah. on that. Okay. But I know she had been pushing for this like 40, 50 years. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah she you was. know what I'm saying. So for this, for her to actually be alive to see this is a great. That's thing. That's dope. You know right. what I'm saying. But we did ask for uh, police reform. We did ask for equality. Like this is really symbolism, right? It is. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So and I, I do want to make sure that we understand that when we talk about it, that this really is what symbolism is. Yeah. You know what I'm exactly. saying? But at the same time, for those of us who didn't know, it's a good thing for us to know and to celebrate. Right. right. And please you know, pass and it. And to spread it. Yeah. Pass it on to your kids. And, if nothing yeah. else, give it to your and kids. No, yeah. another thing, just here for our people in Georgia, know that um, so not only did our governor say that it that y'all not getting paid. You won't get paid. You won't get paid. Yeah, I don't care me. if it's federal holiday or yeah, not, you won't yeah. get paid. Right. And on top of that, there were 14 senators that said that that voted against this. Yeah. For yeah. whatever reasons, even though they all sound racist, they were all older. White, white uh, men, men. like that. So you know the same people who've been 
pushing right. against change and, right. and evolution of America forever. Uh-huh. But uh, Georgia senator as well was one. I forget his name. I, I want to say it was Andrew something, but I don't want to. I don't want to misquote. Mm-hmm. But like, so we have to understand some of the battles that we are facing as we go into our midterm elections as well. These are the people. Understand what these people are. Who we're fighting against. Mm-hmm. People right. who didn't even want to like make this a celebration. And matter America. of fact, if you follow in the soundproof hunger room, uh, shout out to uh, Brian Stevens. He uh, actually put up the post with the, with the fourteen. Um, yeah, it was fourteen senators. Fourteen senators that shut it down. That that oh, vote. Or, or that, it was that, from the house. Yeah. Was it the house or was it? Was it was the house. Senate? <clears throat> it was the house. Wasn't that that house. voted against it. So yeah, you know, if you follow senator, our page on through. Facebook, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, um, I I'll, I'll make sure I'll get that uh, announced at the top. So just in case you're looking for it, you can not find it. All old white men. Nobody. They don't want anything yeah. to change. Nope. The same people who we always it's like all right. of us always have to name the office same for group. twenty years. Absolutely. The group, same group imperative. of people are always yeah. just like, no, we can't change this. Like no. It's yeah. imperative to get out there, bro. Yeah. And cast your ballot. Yeah. But uh same day, I mean same weekend, Juneteenth, the next day was Father's Day. Big I weekend for black folks. Yeah, I ain't I ain't no daddy. So I am. <laughs> You're a daddy. I we am got two dads. A good here. one. Shout out a to the great fathers. one. Yeah. All the fathers. Get shout some out, shots, man. Oh, I appreciate Lord. that, brother. I, you know what? Mm-hmm. Let me. I, I'm gonna give y'all, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all the flow real quick. But I'm gonna say this: It took me about three years to clean up my Facebook timeline because I used to get single mothers to come on there mm-hmm. and talk about, "Oh, I, give me my love too. I did both this and that." And I would go in with, I would not hold any punches because right. I was raised by sure. A, 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 a man that you know did everything he needed Frank. to do, and all Frank. the guys that's Shout out, out Mr. there, Frank. Frank. Shout all, out Frank. The, all the guys that's out there that do what they need to do, give them that day, give them that day. And Dang. I'll say it's been three years running. I haven't had anybody do it. We had one in the group. Yeah, and I, she, I, I think she's still on timeout. <laughs> And I'm happy about Oh, you about blocked her? No. No, she no, just believes she's, she's on timeout. Just oh, yeah. leave it at that. Leave it <laughs> at that. They're warned, though. Ooh. Yeah, she on timeout. Yeah. I must have missed that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it went quick. Shout out to yeah. Ja for uh, yeah, yeah, Ja stepped on top in of that. and uh, yeah. <laughs> just shut that down. Really. Handle it. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, it was real quick. But how y'all feel Father's Day is handled differently than Mother's Day? Oh, man. I think Mother's Day gets more fanfare. I mean, straight up. Then Father's Day. Let me give you an example. Mother's Day comes around. The kids rush in the room. Jump all on Shauna. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Father's Day comes around. Don't bother your daddy. He's sleeping. You know what I mean? Is that no what you love. want, though? Yeah. Hell yeah. I want. <laughs> all right. But that's right. the same reaction. Yeah. They give you what you want. Yeah, give, give you what you want. want. But they ask you, what do you want the day of? Oh. You I'm know fine. what I mean? I'm, I'm fine and with They ain't thought about I am very fine with Yeah, I'm, I'm a simple cat. I don't require much. Yeah, but I don't want no bullshit-ass I mean? socks and no, oh, no punk ass ties. That ain't. Like, we, not, we, we pay way past wait, that. No, 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 we're not. <laughs> you ain't? There's some dads that get that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. ne- oh. You've never seen them with a tie on, but you keep buying them this bullshit tie. <laughs> I'm a coach at high school. I right. don't wear like, ties. And I know it's all in the thought, but <laughs> shit, you think about me or is it somebody else that raised your mother? Right. Man? Right. Like I'm just saying. Right. A lot of, lot of gift giving is not what the person is into. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They just give them something. Yeah. I think this is nice. Well, I hope you ain't never wanted to see me put a shit on because I think, what? <laughs> oh, man. I, yo, I've been on that. Like, if you. Uh. Love me enough to know what the hell yeah. I'm into. Yeah. Oh, preach. You know what I'm saying? Preach, this don't brother. give me anything. It's just happy Father's Day. I'm yeah. going to throw that shit in the corner. Let me tell you, bro. Mother's Day comes around. Sir, we are not accepting any reservations. We're totally booked. Father's Day comes around. I got a party of 10. Oh, right over here, sir. But you, but you know what, though? Have a seat. You know what I mean? And I, I ain't always, you know, right. But I know, I know daughters that really... Celebrate their dads. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. it's all over the Facebook and mm-hmm. like I know sure. it's, it's no some problem. dads out there that get the the fanfare that they they feel they deserve. Sure. And then I know some dads that just don't. But like like Sean, like you were saying, like it's a chance that she could say, "Don't bother your dad." Like we grumpy men. <laughs> men are grumpy as shit. I was gonna get to that. You know what I'm saying? So if we get a day to just to not do just nothing for me. nobody, right. we okay right. with that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So. Yeah. Do I think the 
commercials and all that shit go overboard for mothers. Yeah. And they don't for dads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But as men, do we care? Because we already nope. taught not to be no. soft. No. Nope. You we know, know, so we condition uh-huh. not to be soft. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I forgot they was even here, bro. I almost told you, hey, man, <laughs> we about to shut this down. I forgot they was here. Um, Finish your thought, bro. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know my kids love me. Right. So sure. I, don't, I don't, you know, I don't look for the, the gifts and all like that. Just, Mm. Tell me happy Father's Day. Let me let me at least I know on Father's Day you thought about me. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. I'm I'm good with that. And you know what? Y'all ain't gotta send me the same text y'all sent like a hundred other people. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I, I know cool. it wasn't genuine. But I mean, I mean me, I'm, me, I, it's I cool. Go, I, I appreciate you though. I, I sent the gang of them because yeah. I know I know one father <laughs> particular uh, particularly sh- that well, he's a great dad, but he get dumped on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And he he does everything he's supposed to do. Court wise, out of court wise, and he still don't get what I feel he should. So I made sure I told, and I told him, I said, "Yo, if anybody deserves this today, you do." Mm-hmm. And I told him that, and that's for real. Shout out to my homeboy Hashim Joiner. Mm. Shame, I Shame. need a haircut. Shame, shout out to you, brother. Tighten me up, bro. For real, and not to put his business out there, but I, I, I just think he's a great dad. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's what's up, man. I think we need to do more of that. You know what I mean? Uplifting each other and whatever. Oh, absolutely, we do. bro. It takes two, definitely. Yeah, so. But yeah, I, I feel like, guys, just really, just leave me alone. Let me just sit down. But I want to know that you thought about me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, yeah, give me a little peace. Huh? All right, we're going to keep it moving, though. Shout out to the stepdads, too. Oh, they they, they, they Dads all together. Man. All together. Yeah, all together. All that together. falling and singing. Like. You walk around your house mm-hmm. talking about this my stepdad. He should do half the shit you get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel. Yeah, you're a tough guy. <laughs> tough guy. <laughs> yeah, but uh, another situation came up. Uh, this happened probably about a month ago. Tom Hanks came out and spoke about the Tulsa bombing. He spoke about he didn't know anything about it. I don't know how old is he, about 60. I don't think that's possible. He said he didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when he came out and he spoke about it, he said, I really feel that America needs to do a better job in teaching the real history of America. And Fox, some kind of parent company, wanted to start Shutting all this stuff. Yeah, start pulling them and all this. and that. Said Fox. And yeah, mm-hmm. he was just like, man, whatever. This is how I feel. I feel like the schools need to do a better job of, you know, teaching real history. So, mm-hmm. uh, I I feel you, Flex. The, the only thing I disagree with is, is that, and a lot of times, especially if you look at where he is in life, I would say the average white American isn't exposed to any of those things prior to social media social media now will put you in a position but that's even if you have black people within your friend circle that are in tune with who they are i'm not gonna say well i'm gonna say in tune with who they are in their history (laughs) so Mm -hmm. if they tend to want to stay away from anything like that so i don't i don't know if i can honestly say he didn't know you finished good Give, give me an opportunity to respond. Okay. <laughs> so, I respect that. Because mm-hmm. there could be some, this, he per, he slipped through the cracks and didn't know about uh, Black Wall Street and the bombings of Tulsa. He, that could happen. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I, I feel that white American, especially white American males, know more about what happened in America's history than anybody because they have to be the people to continuously cover it up. Okay. You have to be able to continuously say, no, this is how to say Because they are the people who write the narrative mm-hmm. of what America is and who we are as a country. Right. So in order for you to do that, you actually have to know what happens. So when somebody that is more in tune, not to say woke, right. with what might have, what, what happened, what actually occurred, you have to be able to combat that somehow. Mm-hmm. So for Tom Hanks to say that, could it have happened? Yeah, it could have. I hear sitting across from you today. I don't believe that. Okay. I don't, and I'm not saying that he was somebody like I don't. Th- maybe he, uh, you know, it could have, it could have been. I just don't believe that you didn't know that because I knew that as a kid. But I also have told you guys that I know I had a little more uh, uh, culture uh, uh, taught to me as a kid as well. 
Mm-hmm. I feel like that was something that I, honestly I really feel like I learned that in school. I don't think that was something. Yeah, I feel like I learned that in school. Didn't mm-hmm. get that here. That that's one thing I will say though. Education yeah. is very different. I look at what my my kids got, and not to cut you off. No, you no, 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 I'm done. The education they was given down here, and the education <clears throat> I was given up there is totally different. Right. So, and I can't believe I'm about to say that. <laughs> A lot of black people walking around here didn't know about Juneteenth. Right. That's hard for us to believe. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for him to say he didn't know. Do I believe him personally? No. Yeah, that's is what I'm at. Is it, is it possible? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, I and, and I'm going to leave that right there because it's hard for me to believe that some black people didn't know about Juneteenth. Right. You know what I'm saying? But so I got to look at that that in that aspect. That's the only way I can, I can sit with that because, be, be, and, and the reason I say that is because I don't know how many, I don't know what he's around. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, being in Minnesota, I found out that there's some Caucasians that don't really know about black people. And the reason I say that is because they would ask me these, they thought we were BET. You've been <laughs> through that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was like, and this one BET was horrible at the time. So you got white people, excuse me, Caucasians, walking up to you saying crazy shit, and you like, Yo, I don't even talk like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But they learned it off BT. It's funny you say that because I do remember <laughs> like, being approached like, by people. And like, like where you get that from? Like that. Yeah, yeah, like where you get that Stop from? Stop watching right. TV. I have been in those. Situations. And you'd be like, I don't even watch that. And they'd be looking at they fucked up. Then now they feel like they didn't offended you and all that. Like, mm-hmm. oh my so, god, I'm sorry. Could I say he don't know? Could I? Could I? I put it this way. He might not have been had a knowledge of it, but he knew that shit was out there. Mm-hmm. I, and and I guess I can go with that. Go ahead, dog. Just to respond to what Ralph's saying. And the reason why I disagree with you. Yeah. Um, the reason why black people cannot know about Juneteenth is because black people have always been taught to to misunderstand history. True. Mm-hmm. That's just that's just what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? They'll have you thinking that at, in the beginning. White people created black people to be slaves. That's true. Like, but we yeah. have no history before slavery. Like, right. if you think about what we learned in, in school growing up, uh-huh. we <clears throat> didn't really have any existence before the fact that we were slavery. It was slavery. Like, we were slaves. Mm-hmm. So I can see a black person not, not knowing um, Juneteenth. Juneteenth. I can't see a white person not understanding what we had to do to preserve ourselves. I just can't see that. Well, I mean, because you 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 made a point earlier where they they those that are empowered to do so were the curators of the history were Caucasian men, um, but if you're part of that to try to shun it and get rid of a lot of it because it's ugly and it's true, mm-hmm. if he wasn't part of that in that circle or in that realm of wanting to find out the truth about the history, he's only going to get the curated history. Versus the ugly truths, and, and just to respond, mm-hmm. and this is respectfully as possible. <laughs> I don't believe that white Caucasian males were brought up to not understand what their history is because it's what makes them, and it what can, it's what it's what continues to push their movements. Like it's the legacy to me. Like we are not taught what our legacy is because then other you have to add to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I just it's hard for me to believe that here sitting across from you today at 43, mm-hmm. it's hard to believe that that's not a part of the plan. I believe that they know their history, all of it, and what they're taught to be is you can be not you can you can be emotional about it and you can have sympathy or empathy for people or you can understand why we did it and you can move forward with it. Mm-hmm. Which is why you get the split amongst them. That's my opinion. I could be dead wrong. Right, right. Yeah. I could be dead wrong. Yeah, we we we'll stand divided on that because I feel in any in any uh, situation, any race, you're gonna have people that are gonna go out and gonna do a little bit more work to find out about what it is they want to find out about. 
You're going to have the other ones that just don't care and I'm just going to give you what you feed me and go on by my business. Right. And I think that happens for everybody in any race. So you, I'm sorry. No, you good. So you feel like that the information given to them, to Tom Hanks, mm-hmm. was the same that was given to your father? Because he's but they're about the same age, correct? Yeah. So you think that they learned the same information is just how they processed it? Well, my father was in the they, South, so yeah, he probably got a lot less. Yeah, yeah he thing. probably I, got a lot less. I don't think they got the same they, information. I just don't yeah. think they, I, I don't believe that. It's not possible to keep your, your feet on people's necks if you're not getting different information. So did a white guy ever tell you about the Tulsa bombing? I really, I, honestly, I want to say I learned that in school, man. Okay. I, I can't, like, I, I want to say I learned that in school, yeah. Like I, I, I almost positive I remember learning. I went to private private wow. school too. Mm-hmm. I okay, went to okay. private yeah. school. See, they it's can teach all the way from eighth, all education. the way to eighth, yeah, all the way to eighth grade. Like went from, to private school. I went to private school to eighth grade. That might make a difference though. Yeah, they don't I'm do telling that in public you. School. So I like that's why I, I don't. Like, this was but, years ago, but I really I remember learning about it. it they didn't go into deep deep details about why we did it, yeah, mm-hmm. we but I remember learning about it. We got none of it, and and I believe that. But I, I can believe, believe that, that too because, like I said, I, I've always told y'all on the show, private school is like public school is here to to to, to get to teach our kids to be followers. Right. They're workers. They, they they public school breeds workers. Private, private schools, schools breeds managers, entre- and then border yeah border schools they mm-hmm. breed the people who run the world, the CEOs, because mm-hmm. they it's about it's what box they put on your head. Mm. You understand if that makes sense. Okay. You know what I'm I saying. Understand, I understand what you're saying, but that. like, so if, if I go to public school, it's it's not very, it's not highly funded. I sure. remember reading out of books at certain times when I was in high school because I went to public high school, mm-hmm. reading out of books in '93, '94 that was printed in '86, '87. Mm-hmm. Right. Like I remember that. Mm-hmm. So what about all the history in between? And then the, what about the whole how the dynamics of how life had changed in between that time as well? Right. Like looking back at it. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I, I don't believe that they're not taught that. I just don't. Mm. Which, which I is, think the quality of education is much different from up north and down south. I was I was surprised how many people didn't know about Juneteenth when I posted that. Mm. It was you know? I kind of went out on a limb because I didn't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, wow. Especially being from the south. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, not me, but people, people that were yeah, people from that the south. Responding. I was like, hey, me too. You know what I mean? I'm just finding out about that. And it was like a safe place. I pl- I pray that our we don't have a short attention span. It's just hot right now. You know no, what I mean? You know what? Nah, I, I I with this, I don't I don't think it'd be like that because it's it's celebrated in other places. It's mm-hmm. just where we are or we reside, which is surprising because of the history here. Sure, it's just not. You know what I'm saying? I think that's an easy fix here. And I think think that too. I put it this way, and I hate to say it this way. You make a party out of it. It happens. That's what it is. Where we we are. That's that's, that's for real. To be honest with you, like like Juneteenth in Buffalo was a weekend event. This year, it's a party. This this (laughs) this year was getting the knowledge. Whoever actually didn't know researched it. No, let me let me because they found out now. If they researched it, it's different. I got so getting the knowledge was this year. If you researched it. Next year, somebody had 365 days to find out how to make money off of it. Mm. And that's black, white, Middle East, whatever. Right. Mm. So next year is going to be huge. They're going to monetize it. Watch your timeline. All your friends mm-hmm. are going to be celebrating Juneteenth and make sure you see that they celebrate Juneteenth. Juneteenth. I've been killing people for, what, three, four years now? Mm-hmm. Easily. And mm. nothing. Right. Last year was the first year, and I, I was in attendance for that one. So, they celebrated, but this year, you know what I'm saying? Right. People back outside, they ain't really, you know, they found out, but they like, yo, I got plans to go to Tulum. Such a, you know what I'm right. saying? So, we celebrate uh-huh. Juneteenth in Tulum, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But, you know, whatever, <laughs> as long as you celebrate, whatever. But mm-hmm. I think next year, the, like you said, the, mon- the people going to learn how to monetize from it. It's going to be parties all over uh, Georgia for uh, Juneteenth next year. You better believe that. So, you say you want your flowers? Cause you're I don't want anything. I just want people to... <laughs> I want people to celebrate themselves like they celebrate everybody Everything else. else. Yeah. I don't think we right. got that in us. And, and, it, and it ain't even... Got to have inclusion. And, and, and uh, you know, I'm going to give everybody the benefit of the doubt because I don't know everything about black history. I'm still learning myself. Mm-hmm. You know, but when I found that out, 
I made sure I let whoever could read my timeline. This was me just getting back on on Facebook, I think, because I think I was gone for some years. Right. Um, that was the thing that was shocking to me, just being like a lot of things shocked me from being here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, like it just wasn't it wasn't taught, it wasn't talked about. Mm-hmm. Like when I thought I was coming here, it was I was gonna be in a situation where I'd be like, yo. I'm at the home of this, that, and the other. This that, black and other. mecca. Yeah, yeah, right. and, yeah and it's like, and I, and I'm, a, and I'm, a, I'm gonna say because of the whole, who came in, who left. Mm. I'm gonna say that too. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like I was shocked. Like, even the food wise, I'm still thinking like, yo, Southern cooking gonna be banging. Southern mm-hmm. cooking is wings. Well, Southern oh. cooking. Well, let, let me say that. Let me, let me, let me, that, was that, up, was, that was a shot. That was a shot. That was a shot. That was a shot. Yeah, but. It's more wings because of how Atlanta is set up. It's just a eat and go because you got to get to the turn up. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So to get to the. That's recent. You're right. I mean, I noticed noticed that that good spots. Yeah. So I, it's, I, it's still some that. good spots here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying they're not, but you can find 30 wings wing everywhere. spots. Wings is easier Definitely. to open. Oh, yeah. First, yeah, yeah. Versus you finding. On every corner. Yeah. Frying wings and cooking greens ain't the same. Because I can well, tell you, let me growing, up, growing up, we didn't have wing spots like this. I, I, I wouldn't think you did. Right. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like Atlanta is a a, a, a stop for a lot of people because they get to the turn up and they take that at home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you don't want, you. it's a finger food kind of place right now. Right. Unless you live here and you get out and go to the, yeah. the other spots. But if somebody come in for the weekend, they want wings. They eat wings. Yeah, they eat sure. wings and what's the other Lemon shit y'all love? Wing. No, crab legs. Hmm. Ain't no damn. And, and cause the thing, you know, a, a guy, a guy just told me the other day, <laughs> lamb was just became popular down here. I've been eating lamb dogs. I was about twelve. Little, little kid, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's it's, like, "Yo, lamb is just." He said that shit new. He said we ain't had lamb here before. All you motherfuckers <laughs> got down here. That, Shout out to my brother Sims. I, that's who said Sims. that. That was a damn lie. I'm just saying, that was a damn lie. I'm gonna tell you that. That was a lie. West side. Shout out to, <laughs> Hill, out to Road. He two two five certified. That right. was a lie. Two two five certified. Yeah, two two. You two two five certified. Where's the two two five? You ain't two two five. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You know. You know. That's the address of dog. K K Y. That's what. That's the address of dog. But no, I, I just learned that like three weeks ago. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. I was there. I was there. <laughs> Don't I worry about it. Try to catch you off. I mean, that's that lamb ain't new, man. That's just that's that's Right. That, that's what your parents was giving you if your parents was and I ain't taking no shots at nobody but if your parents weren't opening you up to different things that's then, real that's what it is so and that's what I was gonna go with the yeah. with the uh with the southern cooking right. that's starting the house you know right. what I mean when you start trying to commercialize it and you making it in in whole you lose right. the soul you lose, you the lose the soul. Yeah, absolutely. Every form. Yeah, absolutely so because yeah. big daddies ain't it <laughs> <laughs> hey so, but you yeah, know what like, I remember when I first came here man like real talk. Busy Bees was the spot. Yeah. Right. Busy Bees was good back then. Uh, Q time. Q time was Q-time, good back right then. Right there off of Cascade. Yeah. 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 Like, like it was, it was food. There, it was food. Even, uh, what was Chantrell's? Chantrell. Good food. Uh, uh, the so beautiful. Was, beautiful. The beautiful. Beautiful. Especially when you go good in there with, with your own seasoning. Because, you know, right now they own. <laughs> Nah, a lot of older people like, eat there, brother. So I'm they, just saying, they like, a lot of when I first came, they come up out of Yeah, they come in a lot of seasons, bro. Spots. Now you got to go in there <laughs> on your own greens. You Even know, the Pascal's downtown. Or those, yeah, the north side. The original joint. Yeah, north side. Yeah, north side. Yeah, north side. Yeah. 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 Like, even that one, like, that food was that food was pretty solid. I mean, but you know, people getting healthier now. So, you know, they got to take a little bit out. I ain't mad at that. That takes some of that salt out. Yeah, they got to. got to worry about your pressure. You know what I'm saying? You got swollen feet, but you want to eat that way. Yeah. Now you want to, you know. Oh, you got to have a cheat day. Then they walking out with the red Meal, sir. Meal. Day. I have days, bro. I have days, okay? <laughs> Keeps my sanity. Moving on. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, okay, we're going into the history. Um, I don't know if y'all heard about this critical race theory. Mm-hmm. Critical race theory is this. A uh, program that, well, I want to use a program, more of an initiative that they started to want to put in the school systems to talk about all things 
that were left out of history based on race. To dumb it down, all the bad stuff that they did <laughs> to black folks in history, mm. they want to teach it in school. Okay. Uh, have almost all the most of the southern states. It's like 20, 20 21 states. Are, it was yeah. just half the country, if you think about Literally, it. Literally, right. yeah, are shooting it down. Like, no, we're not going to do that. Um, they don't want you to know your real history. Mm -hmm. um, how y'all feel about it? Mm. It'll, I can it, see, it, it'll come. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead I go can ahead. see people pulling their kids out of those schools if they're teaching that stuff. Absolutely, I can see that. Especially happening. if that's an like immediately. Matter of fact, we had a, we had a case of that last year. And yeah, it was a Denver, Denver, Utah, and Utah, Utah. Yeah, Utah. Was yeah, Utah. That's where it was. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where it was. Yeah. We had a case Utah. of that last year. Yeah, Man, Utah. Go uh, ahead, Chris. But what I'm saying, why is America afraid to rear its ugly head? I'm talking about America, bro. You know what I mean? Home of the free. America, three Ks. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's keep it buck. Man. Another one. You think they want to go back home? Right. Everything that they've been teaching generations, generations, mm -hmm. like they ain't about to do that. Bro. Mm -hmm. Right. They want to. You think the kids will rebel like against their parents as they grow up? No. Nah. I think to a certain extent, depending on where their parents fall. It's a lot of progressive Caucasian and sure. other races. Oh, I mean, it's, it's always been. You know what I'm saying? People like, outside of the black community that, you know, will teach you about your own. Right. <laughs> For <laughs> that, sure. <laughs> that will teach you about your own. Yeah. Let's Real keep it a quick. buck on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know and what I'm saying? Generation, I'm not, not going to, you know, bust them in the eye over that. But mm. this day and age, this is my, this my major question. Mm. Do the kids even care? Do the people, do the people, do the people that's coming up even care? Because you could be in a break room with a guy in his 20s now. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you the same thing a white man will tell you. Oh, man, get over it. Can mm. I speak on that, though? Go ahead, bro. Mm. That's learned behavior. Mm. Learned behavior, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I, that's not that's, to discredit what yeah, you said. that's real. But it's learned behavior because people have been told that the reason why your father and uncles and big brothers are in the situation they are is because they living in the past. Nobody ever wants to address the things that have happened to our people. Mm -hmm. That is an issue. In a in a in a in a society that's based around a dollar, it's like if you really don't and I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say it the way I need to say it. If you don't really fuck with your people, like really fuck with them, mm -hmm. you don't care about that, man. You care about the next dollar you make. People will and 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 I and I and I go that to to support of your own people. I put that in the same thing. If you don't really fuck with your people, like really, if it ain't just to benefit you, mm -hmm. you don't care about that. You don't care about where you came from. But Ralph, we've been taught That's that. good point. No. You've been taught that. You I, might not I ain't have. been taught that. No, I ain't you, been taught you that. You might not have. But that is what we are taught. Mm -hmm. We speak about this continuously, not just here, away from here. We speak about this. It's just like when we talk about black business. Mm -hmm. You can go to one black business, have a bad experience, and, shoot and every black business is bad. But take yeah. your black but ass you can to go to McDonald's, Walmart. Walmart. Or, or Walmart. Walmart, but yeah. you go to McDonald's, and the ice cream machine is down. All you're going to do is go down the street to the next McDonald's. Right. right. Or you can go to Walmart and stand all the way at the back of the store in your in your three lines that are open for four hundred people, <laughs> for and you will pace. wait there, mm -hmm. right? And you'll wait there. And like we don't give them the same courtesies that we, yeah, yeah. we don't mm -hmm. do that. They yeah. critique them, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think on That's that. That's learned behavior. I, I think on that. I'm just on my own people back for that because my own people don't fuck with each other like that. Why? It's not. We got to talk about. It. If we're gonna talk about it like that, because I agree. Yeah, they but don't. If we we got to talk like about that. root cause analysis. Right. Why don't we rock with each other? Because we assimilating. We separate. we was in the break room today, and I don't know if you was or uh -huh. not today, but this week we were in there today, and we had a, a, a gentleman who's a follower of the show, and it's no shot of him say that he. Oh yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He, I was sleeping. He lived there. to where he lives where he is. He said he had issues in the area, but prior to him living there right. he moved into an area and his final rebuttal to everything was i'm accepted I'm now accepted. Yeah. Mm. What? this might be our number yeah. one fan too yeah i'm a big fan shout out to I big love him. i know who you is but what i'm saying well, i say that to say we still looking for white folks acceptance so accept yeah. that. wow that's heavy that's yeah. where we are i just i just and look 
and that's we'll, that PTSD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I believe in that. <laughs> and when we talk about critical race theory, here we are in a country that out of the blue decides to give make Juneteenth a federal holiday. Okay. But you don't want to teach children why. Because it might offend the white kids and make them feel some kind of way. That's that true. Mm-hmm. And it's going to might fake, make them feel some kind of way. Sure. Now, here we are in this country this entire time building it, trying to uh, 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 walk through everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. And nobody ever cared about how it made us feel. Nobody ever said, well, that might affect them uh, 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 adversely. Mm-hmm. Nobody cares about that stuff when it's our kids, mm-hmm. when it was us as kids. Right. But now you're talking about how it might make a white kid, which is, I, I get it. Like, we need to protect all our children. Sure. Right. But you need to teach them the truth. Right. The truth is, there was a lot of, of, of uh, can I say, heinous type stuff that was going on to black people. Yeah, right. but they don't want to get deep into it. Like, right. they don't, nobody wants to address that. They don't even want to, what people want to, what, what I, in my experience, because I don't want to generalize this, I want to make it personal for myself. Right. Mm-hmm. I've talked to a, 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 uh, a few white people who will say, "Listen, I understand what you're saying. This is what they tell me. I understand what you say. I never earned, owned slaves, and you weren't a slave." See, so they, but when we right. talk about that's the get over advantage, it attitude, uh-huh. when we talk about the advantage and the that's wealth that was generated from slavery or the uh, or, or the head start that they got, nobody wants to address that. I had to work for mine. My grandfather had to work for mine. Mm-hmm. My grand, my great, my great grandfather went through hell. Mm-hmm. He couldn't even read. He was mm-hmm. a sharecropper. I'm, t- I'm taking it back to 1800s, late yeah. 1800s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But don't nobody want to understand what happened to us and the PTSD that's been passed along from generation to generation. Mm-hmm. Right. This is Jim Crow. Mm-hmm. Yep. But like, I don't, I don't want to go. I don't want to go too heavy on that, man, because I, I, I get emotional about this Fuck type of stuff. Sure. Because it's, it's ridiculous. Like when you listen to people and they have no empathy to what even happened. Mm-hmm. All they yep. say is you weren't a slave. I'm yeah. a slave currently. To mm-hmm. the system, right? That's it's right. Systemic racism. They That's why like we that. talk about systemic racism. Uh huh. And we work it side by side. They are too. They don't they even don't realize. See it. They don't, they're not they don't the same as you. It. They don't I, think the, they the same. They don't as look you. at you. We talk same. about being Americans, mm-hmm. and I get it. All of us that was born Some here. It's different from being an American and being black. In America, yeah. that shit and when we yeah. talk about being black in America, they make it seem like that's not true. It don't exist. It don't for you. That's, That's right. why you got Tom Hanks out here talking about These are about my experiences. Tulsa, how do you not <laughs> teach about uh, uh, Black Wall Street and how they went through there and murdered people mm-hmm. right. and, st- and, and redistributed the wealth? They're still pulling up the bodies now. That's yeah. right. From the oil that they found out in the, in, in the area. Mm-hmm. Right. Like they just had a, a documentary on Greenwood. They just had yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, sure. but don't yep. nobody. We don't teach this stuff, right. and then black people, we don't teach it to our kids. Right. You know why? Because we're too busy learning too that big. in 1492, I Columbus sailed the old, ocean blue, and we I need, need to be, be accepted. accepted. Black people saying that shit ain't make you know. Come on, man. Go ahead, right. man. That's crazy. I need to learn how to work in these white people world. Yep. I'm, a, I'm mm-hmm. gonna go back to what what, what you were saying, Flex. Um, um, I just had her name. Um, it's a teacher. She well, she was a teacher. Uh, she's an author now, Jane Elliott. I know y'all heard of her. Older white lady. She go in on them. Anyway, Jane Elliott was a teacher. She had a video. Somebody posted a couple years ago when she had, was teaching elementary kids, um, all white kids. So she said, okay, all this day, all the white kids with, or well, not say white kids, all the kids with blue eyes. Today, you get an extra hour in recess. Mm. Brown eyes, y'all stay inside today. So... All that day, blue eyes got a whole bunch of perks. Mm -hmm. The next day, of course, brown eyes, they feeling some kind of way. Next day, okay, brown eyes, y'all got y'all extra hour in recess today. Blue eyes like, hold up. What the problem is? Yeah. Kids start fighting. These kids, Mm -hmm. they start fighting. They start arguing. They don't know what's going on. Right. She explained to them, this is what happens here in America when you look at white versus black, mm-hmm. when you set certain rules for a certain race of people to get ahead, this other race is going to have to fall behind because y'all set these rules. Mm-hmm. And then when you're met with adversity, you don't know how to act. Mm-hmm. You want to fight everything. You want to do this. But yet y'all expect for them to be quiet mm-hmm. and to push through all the time. Mm-hmm. And so like you were saying, it's taught. This is something that's taught and it needs to be something that they're aware of early on so that throughout their life, they don't make the same mistakes or the same ignorant 
aspect that their folks did. Um, so I think it's very important to have this uh, critical race theory in school systems. I, I, I'd be concerned who's teaching it. For real. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm one of them people that, and you can feel how you want to feel, I don't think anybody but a black person should teach black history. Mm -hmm. I'm just one of them people. And it could be a thousand other races out there that can do it. I just want to learn it from my own if I had to. Would you? I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, you don't have to be sorry. Um, that Hawks jersey is sorry. Sorry. So, no, but for real. We'll get to that later. He's a Knicks fan. It's okay. <laughs> the only thing, that I, w I will be worried more about who was writing curriculum more than I would worry about who was teaching. I mean, the way I look at that is if I'm teaching it, and they and, and this is just me just hoping. I'm making sure I say that. If they teaching it, whoever's writing it, they're gonna know the ends and they're like, no, nah, I'm not saying that. You you know what I mean? They're gonna make it their own. Mm -hmm. Versus like we the puppet masters we work with mm -hmm. that just read it straight off the uh, But if I have to if iTunes, they, uh iPhones, uh whatever y'all walk around there with. But if the state if, if boards and stuff, the people who are yeah. testing it have yeah. certain qualifications. I will be more. You understand I, what I'm saying? I understand what you're because, saying. Because yeah, yeah, I might teach you this. I might not teach you right. that. But I have to teach you this because it's going to be it's on good, the, it's the gonna, board yeah, exams. Yeah, we going to teach. We gonna, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, we, yeah, so we going to teach. That. I get what you're saying. Yeah, too. you know, like, what it's I'm all saying? important. Yeah. It's all important. But one thing I want to say, and I want to kind of um, make a comparison, like it's not really up to white people to teach us our history. Like, I, yeah, I don't. Right. Like, For those of I us agree, who are. Uh, Mm -hmm. What word can I use? Because Sean don't like to use woke. For those of us who are oh, back in, in, go in, back in to tune. yeah, in in tune. Tune. Hey. For, those, okay. for those of us who are in tune, <laughs> it's up it's up to us to be able to teach our kids. Like if you look in the Jewish community, the Jewish community teach teaches themselves. themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The one thing that they always preach, they like never again. Right. Never again shall we march like sheep to the slaughter. Never again shall we sit and take orders. Like never again. Right. That's mm -hmm. big in their community. Something that's they're they're drilled into their in their lower teens. Mm -hmm. That's like we ha need to have the same type of program. We need to understand that. And I'm gonna make a quick plug: unity, because that's what they oh, have. Yeah, do that. Right. Ownership, and that's another thing uh -huh. they have. It, that's how they that's how they reach their excellence, and that's root intellect for the record. But I'm just saying, like those are the things that are very important when we teach in history to our kids. Sure. Like we all, all of us, is, every kid. Crespo, I want the best for your children. Right. I want them to have, every time we take a step forward, I feel like we should be widening the path, paving it, making it easier for them. Mm -hmm. You know sure. what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that when they get there, they're going to do the same supposed thing. Supposed to have it better. Yeah, they're supposed to have it better. Mm -hmm. But we don't necessarily give them the tools that we need. We give them the tools to survive. Right. Black people in America are in survival mode. Mm -hmm. Right. We learn how to survive America. We don't necessarily know right. how to thrive in it. Mm. Been like that the whole time. Um, but what if what if they're at a certain age? Would it matter how to, how it resonates? I I think that once you plant a seed, and I, and it's funny you asked that. I asked um, my supervisor actually. He gives me a lot of stuff because he realized the type of stuff that I, I remember read you mentioning that. Yeah. And he has. Three daughters, and I asked him. I said, "Well," and he said, a, "A lot of the charter schools they went to were black owned, and this." And so he was like, "Yeah, they've been around it pretty much their whole lives." Right. So he was like, "Yeah, they're 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 very aware of it." He said, "Of course, now they're like teenagers, so all they want is Yeezys and this and that, mm -hmm. but they know their history." So I think at any age that you start. And you plant that seed, and they're surrounded about around right, it, right. and not just what somebody else feeds them. Mm -hmm. They're aware of it, so that when it comes about, they can speak on it knowledgeably and just be able to 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 have that confidence. Because I think it adds confidence to who we are as a people. But it matters if their teacher is you, you, of their you, culture. You, you I don't agree you, with you, that. You know what I think? I don't agree. You know with what that. I think? Like like you asked the original question. You got twelve years. Teach kids right. history. Okay. So you got 12 years to teach kids the real history. Mm. However, you want to break it down. It like, because you know, you tell somebody something in the third grade. Sure. Yeah, like, I, I understand I what you're you. saying. See, I understand you're thank saying. Thank you. Yeah. So it's like they're not uh -huh. really embracing so that versus somebody in the eighth that. grade. So I right. think 
through them years, you break that down, and by the time they become a senior, sure, they should be it's cemented. Yeah, because uh-huh. right now we teach the, we we're teach the same thing every year. Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King, Peanut Butter, Ro- Ro- Stoplights, Rosa Parks. <laughs> same Rosa thing. Parks. You know what I'm saying? Like, and y'all, and uh-huh. we created y'all for slavery. Like, I don't even know if they threw a bomb in the book yet. My, mm-hmm. All of my kids are out of school, so I don't know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um, that's you, no you're book. taught that every year, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm for saying? For one month. Shit, one month. She might get a week. Yeah, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Move on. We gave you a month. We gave you a month, but we only give you a week at school. We got to get back to this American. Right. History, right? Like that's that's real. You know what I'm saying? You do your little report. Mm-hmm. How many times you done been? You was in school. Yeah. Everybody got a report. How many Malcolm X's? How many Martin Luther King was in there? Probably all. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, I th- I think you take the 12 years, you break it down, and 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 by the time, like I said, by the time you become a senior, they should be good. Mm. I don't expect white people to teach us how great. But, but that, you say but, you don't agree with it though, Sean. I, because I've seen I'm white. I've happen. seen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, just, uh, I, 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 I blurted that out. My bad. Okay. Well, I, I'm I, saying, I, I ain't even hear what you said. I, I, I said it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen unless you go to one I'm of the schools. Yeah, My but I, right. I've seen and heard and listened to a, a few white um, or Caucasian people speak about our history, and I say that these people that choose to do it in the in the in the way that they do it, they're passionate about it because first off, they're already going against their norm. That right. To teach this stuff or to learn about this stuff. So usually when you're going against the grain, if you're dedicated to it, mm-hmm. you're going to do it a little bit more harder. Sure. If you're really trying to get your point across, you're going to go a lot a lot deeper. Like Tim Wise, Jane Elliott, like I just mentioned, those are two people that I've listened to and everything they say makes sense. And, it, it, and they pull no punches. Okay. And so for them to have to go against the grain, in that sense, that shows that they have passion about it. Now, mm-hmm. I think overall, yes, you need to have some skin in the game in order to teach this stuff. Okay. But I'm not saying that a white person should not be able. I just don't to want to put it on white people. Mm-hmm. I don't want to give them that much credit that they only teachers out here in the world because there's a lot of teachers out here in the world. Oh yeah. So I mean, but we just keep speaking on you know white, white, white. Um, and I just I just think it need to be taught by a black person, African American. And I mean, and I'm gonna say African American because you might, you know, history you get from, you know, African, and I ain't knocking my own in some ways, but it might, it might be a little watered down. I disagree. I think the display might be a little so watered down. That it, I, I completely disagree. You know, you, 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 you know what I, I go off for? I don't think we can. I don't think we can exclude. I, I, my apologies, but yeah. I don't think we can exclude our Africans. Brothers, our uh, South Americans. I don't think we our European brothers. If it's some of us over in Asia, the brothers down and, and, and sisters. I'm sorry, the, I don't want to reason. The, the reason I, I say that, go ahead, Australia go ahead. or yeah. our West Indian Caribbean people, mm. bro. We all dealing with the same traumas. But the way we, the, but the way we're taught, the way we act towards each other, mm. is not the same. Ralph, that's learned behavior. No, but well, you call it it's what you want behavior. to. But when I, they I, come I, here, I, they hold tell on, you hold they on. Don't want you to be but like I, us. But I can only, I can them. only go by what you show me. That's no, that's what they're taught. Let, but let me finish. They can only me, go by what we I show them. I can only go by what you show me. And the, and the, and the sense is for me, it's not good when Africans come over. It's not good. I will sit here and say that. And stand ten toes on. I think that's your your relate, but your relate, but that's but that's that's all I got to go off of. I, I get it. Your right. experience not, and mine knocking, is different. I'm not knocking I look your at him. I be like, yo, you damn near my enemy. But where mm-hmm. I, where I'm gonna take wow. this back okay. to for you, for you, for me personally is whatever you want to say. Root cause analysis. You, you can call it where you did want they to. get that opinion from us from? If they if they if they did what they had to do to get here and they got here and they stuck with it, then that's day four flex. No, 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 that's no. They did flex. what they did to have to get here and they had to learn what they had to learn for themselves to be a part of this flex. Country. It's a it, if it's, it's enough going around here that you don't have to act the way you act. I'm not gi- I'm I, not giving them that flex. I'm not. What do you mean? Because they just like they they think that getting over here is the is the the. The, the heaven on earth the opportunity. Okay, okay. But when you uh-huh. get here, when you get here and you be around your own 
And you talk down. And on you them. talk down yeah, on your I own. Agree. Mm-hmm. I'm not going for that. But what I'm telling you is they've already been told and taught that you Flex. and them so you're, are not the so, same. So you're pretty so you're much saying you can't change. Saying, no, I'm not saying that. I'm then saying why that, don't they do? I'm saying that I, be, I don't know why they don't. Then I, don't I can only why, go. That's what I'm saying. I, I can only go by what you, they show me. I don't. I don't know why the people who you've come across have given you that 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 whole persona or given you that aura. What I'm saying is, at the end of the day, black people in America have been taught that. West Indians are different, and that Africans are, are different. Absolutely, that we any people who. How can you come to a place that the people who look the most like you, you told you are nothing like? That has to be taught, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's taught, not a it's, cultural difference because if you eat though. red it's beans ta- and rice, rice and peas, peas and rice, let me, let me, let me ask you this. no let matter me, what it is, you eat let me, it. Let me it's ask you all this. the same. Right. Let me ask you this: It's taught where? Because if they left Africa so, to come here, let me finish. Because I let you talk. They left Africa to come here. And then they brought that with them. Who taught them? White people when they came to America. That is a system. To, in order to get c- citizenship here in America. Flex, you said every, every African uh-huh. that came over here to that white people. That is the system. When you come, come here, on, who do, where do you learn this from? Come on. Did, did, they they, they, they might have learned they that where they was before at. They, before they got over here. Yeah. I've heard a few that say, but they look at us as lazy because they come over Why? here. Because they, first off, because the, the fight that they had to get over here. Mm-hmm. So for them to go to school, to get masters, to get in all this stuff, they look at it, oh, look at the black Americans. They're lazy. They don't want to do anything. Mm-hmm. I'm better than them. Right? Uh, no, it ain't that I'm better. I'm um, different than them. Well, different. Mm-hmm. Yes, different. But I've, I've been so around. I think I've, I've been around yeah. and heard personally. Uh-huh. Have, oh, you guys are lazy. You have too. I have. So. That's, I correct that's that. Okay? I correct that. No, no, oh, see, see, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. So one thing I don't want you to Flex think. ain't gonna let that shit slide. Absolutely <laughs> because, not. Because, because his relationship is Absolutely different than mine, not. and I respect the but, fact that his relationship <laughs> right. with but, Africans and I'm just giving whatever else different perspective. is different than mine. Yeah, that's the only I, thing, but mine is what it is. Yeah, it's the the only thing I want to give is perspective on this because, like Absolutely. I said, I want to talk about root cause analysis if we're gonna talk about this. Right. So the difference is across the world. Who puts out what the imagery of black Americans are? Us. No. No, no the, the, the media. The media. Oh, okay, the media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When have we okay. when are we portrayed as good in the media? Let me say this though. Never. Let me say this about so, the media. Hold so, on, let me say this about the I media. But I just let you talk so you <laughs> gonna, right. you're go ahead. Finish go ahead. You go, go that's ahead. what we doing. Go ahead. So what I'm saying is if the portrayal is already out there and then you come here and it's reinforced via education, before you even inter- start interacting, when you start interacting, the first time you see somebody acting negro-ish, okay. you're gonna say, "Oh, that's all of them." Right. And mm-hmm. I am not like that. That's and right. Our, my plight, my my struggle. You are different. They are different from us. You know what's different is the path it took for us to get to where we're trying to go. Okay. That's what's different. Flex. Mm-hmm. Let me. Ask, can I ask you a question? How long it take you to you realize something and then you change? How long does it take me? How long does it take a person? It depends to get on how ingrained it is in me. Okay. If you be if you're around it every day, it depends and you, and you, on how let me it let is. me finish, and you see the change, like that might not be true what I believe, but I'm gonna stick to what I was taught, mm-hmm. because that's what got me here. Mm-hmm. At what point do you be like, yo, this this is what this how I see him? I get what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. So you, I understand what you're saying, but just please understand what I'm saying. I do. The relationship is different, and not because it has to be because they stick to the root. But that's what. Why would you could disconnect from your root? The problem is because, the root because has been you come poisoned. To, you, but you came, but you understand? came to a different place. I get it, mm-hmm. but the root is still poison. At the end of the day, unless you completely chop yourself off from your roots, you're not gonna just start over and reroot. There's no way I can meet a person that I'm 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 against, right? And get a different perspective of that person from that person, and keep the same thing in my head from that person. Mm. It's not gonna stay in the back of your mind. No, because they showed that's, me who they are. That's a, and that's a beautiful thing. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if everybody has that. Well, I just. I just know. Like I said, yeah. I know what I run into. We had yeah. this conversation a lot. No, I know. I you know, know what I'm saying. Do. I just be Which like, yo, that's I'm your boy. Passionate enough to speak about it in this. <laughs> you situation. know, Flex look at me, be like, hey, you go. I be like, yeah. that's your boy. That's like, your I'm man. not. I'm not fighting with nobody that look like me. Right. I don't care what. I don't fight with. I, but, but but I, but the thing is, I don't feel I fight with them. But I do identify their bullshit. I do. And I don't, I don't, I don't lean on my, the the relationship with my other people that I'm cool with because of they bullshit. Mm-hmm. I address 
they bullshit. Particular people, you should, you should, you that, actually and that's should why have. I, that's where I leave it though. Right. You should. That's where I but leave I it. But I also have to understand what your programming was versus mine. One, I understand if you know better, you do better. You know how long me I asked personally. How long you been here? I feel like that's not about how long you've been here. Shit it's about me? the inter- interactions that Shit you have me? How long with the you people been here? that you that you've been here around. Mm-hmm. You can be here around the same people, and if everybody has the same issue, then you're gonna be like, well, this is just what it is. Flex. If, if somebody you move call you lazy else, for different. ten years, I don't care what they call. Come on, dog. If somebody. If somebody been over here for 10 years uh-huh. and they still holding on to that, knowing it might not be true, you just want to be that. You just want it. No, nah, that's not true. Come on, dog. That's, that's what they true. do. That's your feelings. I can have that. That's your feelings. I can have that. Yeah, that's your feelings. And I, I'm not mad at you for feeling that way. I just feel differently. I think it's all root cause analysis. But when they get I around that white man, though, they dance. It's totally the fucking same thing different. We do. They different. We dancing they around different. them too. Who making it seem like we ain't dancing? At the end of the day, when a white man come in there, yeah. whether you African, West Indian, or Black American, yeah. everybody do the same dance. But, the, yes, but right. everybody's Harlem shaking or bank head bouncing or doing yo, the hyphy. Yo. Everybody. I, I call me different. Or, 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 or merengue. Whatever it is. Different. I don't want to leave nobody I, I, out. Call me different. <laughs> Because what I don't see is me doing that. No. And okay, you can never say you not, see me doing it. It's not that you're doing, doing it. it. I'm just saying. And, 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 and I see what you say. Your, your people do do that. Yeah. But when they get around their own people, yeah, yeah. Not embrace not your own. You got to break your own cycle. I'm not going by that. Well, this is what I was learned. At some point, you got to break your own cycle of bullshit. When you going to leave Period. them in breaking their cycle? Because you, you mean, can break don't... your own cycle. You know what they do? Because you saying Man. the this same what thing happens. that they saying. This is what happens. They it's get, the same thing. They get the white dollar. Uh-huh. And they, I'm good. Mm. What's the I'm difference good. with us? Very What's the difference with black people? I'm good. There is isn't. There is isn't. There isn't. There isn't. What's the difference with us in the money. South? There isn't. What's the difference with money. the Spanish? What's the difference? Yeah, it's not a difference. For but, the money, you know the difference the is? People don't care you know about the nothing. Because I don't call you lazy. That's the difference. I don't call you I don't call you names off of what somebody was taught, what somebody else taught me. I let you be you. Mm-hmm. That's the One difference. Last thing, I promise. That's the difference. I'm going to give you something. So, so to bring this a little closer to home, Sean, you from College Park. Mm. Georgia mm-hmm. I'm from Buffalo New York Before me and you met We could have uh, 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 Some preconceived notions About each other Right The south is slow mm-hmm. You could look at me and say The northerners think we slow Right Who gave us that Where did it come from It takes time For to break these things down I, And experience I, I'm gonna be honest it. So we ain't gotta go I'm bro, be- We ain't gotta go We ain't gotta leave the continent I'm, a, I'm gonna be honest I'm talking about Buffalo New York To to College Park, Georgia. But are you saying the system taught you that or that the, the black system, people you were around taught you that? Who taught it to them? Because the no, whether you white so, or black. So who responsibility? Whether you white or black people in the, in the north. So like is, I, and like I was saying. Like, like I was saying. Right at what wrong. point do you break the cycle? I'm at, I've already broken it. Exactly. I take people for who they I've are. I've heard that before. I take I've people heard, for who I, they are. I've heard it, who, I breaking, heard it myself. Yeah. Breaking the cycle is a personal thing. My opinion. My opinion. One leads to two, two leads to three. But you can't just break it yourself and not tell your, your comrade, yo, it's not like that. We, we got it wrong. I agree with that. We got it wrong. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's something and, we and, definitely and, and, agree and, on. And, yeah, we yeah. got it wrong. We got to be able to spread that message. We got to do that. But we got to get our feelings about it, too. And yeah. it, it, we gonna run across some people on both sides. Mm-hmm. Right, that's gonna say, "Hey, man, that shit they was talking about before. That's this that's what they were talking about." Yeah. Yeah. Right. But it ain't like we have to educate each other. Right. I'm not turning like my the, back on nobody. Look like me. I don't turn my back. I'm on I'm not nobody. saying you do. I, I don't. That wasn't but shot, I will brother. address they bullshit. Yeah, you should. Like who you talking to, man? I choked shit out of you just like I choked that white man. <laughs> oh, serious. Hold brother. him accountable. <laughs> I hold we you accountable. About that. Hold but him he, but accountable. he knows that. We talked about that. But he you knows know what I'm talking about. I'm not doing that. We not doing that. Yeah, we not doing that. But we had this conversation a lot. Y'all think it just right now? We had this conversation a lot. I know. Because flex me like that's my man. I'd be like, yeah, okay. That's your man. That's my man. They ain't got to be yours. Right. And then the only time you understand I'd be like, I'd be, why. I'd be like, yo, I see him on some sucker shit. But Flex be like, yo, that's my man. You know, yeah. I'd be like, okay. He good. <laughs> we do this shit a lot. Thank but Flex, Flex say, what do you say when you don't fuck with nobody no more? I don't say I'm nothing. Good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm <laughs> good. I don't say that. Like, that's your man. Well, that's like unbelievable. That's, no, that, that what we do. Like, I feel like that's, that's your man. <laughs> we say them your fault. Them your fault. Yeah, that's your man. Them your fault. We got a dude that we we're certified to us, and we both was like, yeah, that's your man. <laughs> <laughs>
man. <laughs> <laughs> then he got slapped. That's that. You know that's that's the New York thing, man. That's, yeah. that's 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 like a background check for a job. Whose man? Is who this? sir? Who who, who co signed this? New York. Whose man is this? Uh, this cut that music though. We got some. You know what, what you got? What you got? What you got? We not gonna leave here without talking about uh the verdict, the actual. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't leaving without yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't get my forty. Got tired of us arguing. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were having a, we were having a conversation. It was good. good it was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we oh yeah, y'all. Yeah, they don't know yeah, about it. Yeah, they, they don't, don't know, know about it. Still but, injustice. Still. That's how you feel. Injustice. Yeah. Injustice. What would you have liked to see, Crispo? Because he could have got what max forty. Bro, 40? Yeah, 40. We, forty was the max. We witnessed a murder. A murder. Live murder. Is it really a murder? Oh, yeah, it is. And I, I'm going to play devil's that advocate was for just a lick. second. Mm-hmm. Is it really a murder? No, he's got because, the complexion for the protection. Because and that's what that boy down to. Killing black people has never really been. That's, like, that's, a, that's down, your patriotic man. duty. Are you surprised at the verdict? No. no. I, I'm not surprised at if it. If there is any shock in me, is that he got as much time as he did. That's that's real. Cause I to wanted, be honest I, with you, I, I, wanted I don't have 40. no faith in that system. I wanted forty, None. but I knew, you know I, mean? I knew I knew yeah. that was my emotions talking. I we wanted got, forty. We, black people, we have people who have sold drugs uh, on the conspiracy of selling. That's drugs still in for nonviolent crimes. Still in. Who doing more oh, time? Who doing yeah. more time for a this. bag of weed? And you, know you got and you got it legalized now, and they still locked up. But so, they can make money off of it, yeah, and you got different. these guys locked you know up. Know how that go? You know, it's all about law, and law is never a moral. Stance. It's mm-hmm. all about what we deem right and wrong at the time. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's just different. Excuse me. It's just different. But the killer for the other ones that were in cahoots with it, you know what I mean? That time might be even lesser than 20, yeah. 22 and a half. He asked for a new trial. He yeah, asked for a new trial. Civil, yeah. civil trial, right? Yeah, he asked, no. I think That's it, what's coming up, a civil yeah, trial. Yeah, a civil now. trial. Yeah, but he asked yeah. for a new trial on his conviction. Yeah. Like nah, this, it was it was the emotion of the country or something that I was. Reading. He tried to, he tried to get the whole thing moved. Yeah, he tried to get the whole the whole, the whole joint thing thrown moved. out. Yeah. Like he was like, no, nah, it's just because of what was going on yeah, at the time. What was going on at the time was because of you. Now, don't blame that on COVID. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, how you feel about that, Sean? Uh, the justice system ain't for us. Amen. Not surprised. Uh, when I saw it, I said, "Well, it is what it is." I honestly thought he should have got life, um, no parole, because you took it to a whole nother level. Not only did you take it to a whole nother level, you also tried to come up with every other excuse to say why. It's his fault. It was his fault. He Man. did this. He was doing that. Mm-hmm. Come on. And it's recorded. You know, it. Yeah. it, it, it did y'all see him? His mother's response. Right, come on, man. Like right. y'all, it's at some point. When do y'all become human? They're not. When do y'all become human? That's something and this you've ain't, been taught. Right, this ain't new. It's mm-hmm. just now recorded, and we can see it, and it's broadcasted everywhere. Mm-hmm. But this has been day one for us here. Mm-hmm. Day one, and it. Yeah, he should have got life. Yeah, he should have got life. No parole. So it definitely was murder. Duh. I got 22 years to hope that depression overwhelms him and he does something else. <laughs> That's how I feel. Mm. I hope depression sets in and he just can't take it no more. A lot of them do that. I ain't going to put that on nothing. That Sean's thoughts. <laughs> Sean's thoughts only. We can look but back to the, the, we I can just, look back to I just, the insurrection. I, just, I, oh. I didn't get, I didn't get to 40. That I was looking for because that pretty much makes you about nine. I think it makes him about ninety when he got would have got out. Mm-hmm. You know, twenty two, seventy, eh, whatever. You know, good uh, time served, good good behavior, and all that shit coming up. He ain't doing twenty two. No, oh, absolutely not. But I just hope he, he he get overwhelmed by you know being locked up and he can't take it and you know something else happens. Mm. Mm. That's how I feel. Okay. Can can I hit the button now? I mean, no, hold, no. We got one more. We got one more. We got one more. <laughs> Wait, you know, all you Nike stock people. Me too. Who, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Go ahead and address. Let's address that. What is that name? Matter of fact, you know what? We are gonna hold that one because yeah, I need, I, I need on to that. really we'll read on that one. On that one. Before I put I Nike, got it, but Nike I want to. Well, go ahead. I want, 
What is her name? Allison. I don't got Felix. It. Felix. 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 Star. Track star. Track star. She recently uh, is in the Olympic trials. Um, she broke Usain Bolt's record, and one of I don't know which one, which one it was, but she broke his record. And uh, what happened was she had a baby. I don't know when she had her baby. It was. It's been a while because she's back about, running again. Yeah, about two or three years Almost, ago. Yeah. But Nike dropped her, which Nike has done with any female athlete that got pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, she decided that she's not going to mess with them at all and create her own um, her brand. Her own she got brand. her own brand. Yeah. She got her own brand. Um, so, so let's support her brand. How about that? And once we find out what it is and, and all the details, we Ladies, definitely going to do I it. Ain't, I, ain't putting shirt I mean, if she got a T-shirt, I'm going to get a T-shirt. Got Nike on his jersey. I'm gonna get to see. I mean, but he, you I, know, what I'm saying that's that. That's before the news broke. Yeah, but still, <laughs> he, he I got a lot of Nike he, stuff. I just, I just, I just, I just right get rid now. of that. I want to, I want to, I want to shout out to her for giving uh, birth to new life. Indeed, and keep yeah. and keeping us going. Indeed, she had her baby a while ago, though, right? It's got to be at least two, three. Years. It's about two, yeah. three. Years. Yeah. yeah. I, I, um, weren't they looking to pick her back up? Ain't that how this came back out? This whole co contractual so. thing, yeah. you know that this oh, world is. Uh, go with the contract. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, that's what it was. I don't know if it was in her contract or not that she couldn't, you know, conceive. Conceive, yeah. but um, mm. that's something to look up. Not, no, know. Nike need to look it up and realize that hey. It's life, life happens. Y'all, uh, this is life. Y'all a little strict. Yeah, right. This life, you know. And um, and I'm and having no babies biased. in your prime. What I'm, what I, what well, I would be upset about if you. this is true, and none of the major women athletes didn't stand behind her mm. and shut it down and go work for her, mm. that would bother me. Mm. Because true. because Candace Parker did went through the same thing. Mm -hmm. She gave birth. You know, done. They didn't do that shit to Serena though. Nah. Mm. Bigger difference. Serena was huge. And that, I understand that, but what I'm saying is, if if that's what y'all standing on, if contractually, well, we standing right. on we standing on money. Absolutely, they that's know the, what a yeah, dollar, that, but yeah. we don't want to get into that because yeah, when I brought it, yeah, when I seen I the, you know the dollar and Serena, shout out to John. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah, life is gonna happen, and, he, and you, you're expecting these people, and I don't know if they look at it when they sign these contracts to not give birth. Right. Mm -hmm. To make y'all money. Make yourself money too. Mm -hmm. But life happens. You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 find humanity in these contracts yeah. that um you know we everybody holds so concrete. These con these contracts. Hey. You know. Gotta read them. Hey bro. Yo, I'm, you in that too? I'm a, I'm yeah, a, I have a read. You gotta read too. the contract. Yeah. <laughs> gotta read the contract. I wish I would I wish my wife would come in the house. Like you said, I can't have no kid. Well, you want to uh, decide. Yeah, right. Because yeah. when I'm ready to shoot this load, I ain't pull it out because what Nike said. That's called a read. Because it, it's, it. it's another female athlete in track and field went through the same thing, and Puma went and picked her up. And um, got, the, um, was it the, the basketball player. She's the first um, endorsement from Puma mm. uh, basketball. I can't think of her name right now. But For she the was, L.A. She, Spark. Yeah. She was the Nigerian, Nigerian descent. Yeah, no, 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 no. Della Donna. Uh -huh. That's her name. Della Donna. Donna is the first one to get Got hooked you. up by Puma, Puma. And, and yeah, and they uh they, they hooked her up. Yeah, they hooked her up. Yeah. To go over to the Olympics and all everything. That. Yeah, they they, yeah. they they gave her the red carpet. Yep. Mm. I don't even want to get started on that shit. That's we'll have topic. another two hours. Especially the <laughs> Olympics. That's that's a whole bunch of Oh shit yeah, shout out starting. shout out to um um to everybody that's shout out to Jalen Rose. We don't shout out too many you know, but Jalen Rose said something that I think is, is real, that they're afraid to send an all-black team mm -hmm. to the Olympics. Yeah. So they added with Kevin Love. Token Kevin white Love. guy. They, I'm like, Kevin a token Love? White guy. Yeah. I yeah. said, is Kevin he still Love? playing? I mean, but y'all seen this before. It was more Christian white people like, on the team. But, you know. <laughs> I like Duke. I don't. I don't. Screw I don't you. understand Shout why. Out to Christian Lakers from <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. Um, well, they had Larry Bird too, but he was proven. Yeah. He was proven. Though. No, I ain't talking about that team. I'm so teams after that. Yeah, because you know, dream team. They gonna do what they want to do. If y'all want to go represent this country, y'all go right ahead. Mm. I'll say that, mm -hmm. and I, we can go home off their that. country. Yeah, if y'all want to go represent the country, y'all go right ahead. Uh. <laughs>
Yo, that's lets me know we going too far. He ain't ready for that. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole shout out to the Bucks though. Why, why are you coming up in here with the Shout out to the Hawks, man. I just found Appreciate out the Hawks it. started in Buffalo. They did. Ah, Shout out ah, to the Hawks. Ah, they did. 1946, ah. man. The original <laughs> home of the Hawks. That's all right. They're here now. And uh, we sent the Knicks home. We sent Philly home. We lost game two. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> but we've lost game two in every series. Get them out of here. Is that the 86 he was talking about? 86 no, 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 Get him out of here. Y'all okay. just sit here and just watch. Keep Enjoy the show. Our, our series has been the most entertaining. That's real. <laughs> that is real. Ain't that what they there for? That is real. Just watch us. All right. I, wanna, ah. I, I got a... <laughs> Loyalty should never be divided. Not monetary. Nothing should divide loyalty. I'm gonna leave that before I get in trouble. So let me. I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm gonna leave that right there. Good to see y'all, man. I appreciate you back in the seat. It's the Afro Regan. Peace. Go to God Flex. Rude intellect. What up? One eight. We out. My bad for the delay. <laughs> I didn't know what we were doing, actually, though. Yeah, I it kind of came yeah. random. Yeah. 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 Appreciate everybody for watching. Man. Shout out to you. Like and subscribe and share. Definitely on all share. platforms. And we're going to be updated on iTunes uh, here this weekend. This weekend. Say what I said. Handle that, bro. Say what I said. <laughs>